So you want to know what converts better. $1,499 or $1,499. Or in other words, you want to know if a comma impacts the way people perceive your price. Well, here's how selling works. First, you make an offer. Then, potential buyers look at the value and the price of your offer, and they compare the two. If the value is greater than the price, they buy. If the value is lower than the price, they don't buy. Simple. But there's more to it. Hey, I'm Derek Halper, and you're watching Planet Derek, the place entrepreneurs come to get ahead in business and in life. And today, we're talking about pricing my favorite topic. If you're new here, go ahead, subscribe to this channel, and by the end of this video, I have a sneaking suspicion you're gonna hit that notifications bell. So let's jump right in. Some people think it's worth it to buy ridiculous amounts of sparkling water with almost no flavor. Some people spend $400 on sneakers. But they won't spend $2 softer toilet paper. <laughs> now, Paul, how much is the water? $3. I'm gonna get water from someone else. I paid $3 for a bottle of water. <laughs> Ridiculous. The point is, value is in the eye of the beholder. And pricing isn't as simple as, is it worth it or is it not? Of course, if you're selling anything, it's your job to communicate the value of your product or service. Sometimes it's about inherent value about what your product is physically worth. Other times, it's about the value that your customer derives from your product and how it makes them feel. But this, in fact, is your first job. You want to make the perceived value bar as high as possible. And then you want to deliver on it. Now, there's a flip side. Price is about perception. So instead of increasing the perceived value, you can also lower the perceived value. Notice how I didn't say lower your price. I said lower the perceived price. Nothing revolutionary here. I know. I've talked about choosing a price to optimize conversions before, but did you know that you can change the perception of your price with a tweak so simple it only takes about two seconds? The best part? You don't have to change your price. You just have to change how you present it. I'll explain. In a study published in the Journal of Consumer Psychology, researchers tested different price formats. Specifically, they tested $1,499 against $1,499. So the first format included a comma. The second had no comma. I know I said it differently to emphasize the difference here, but as you can see on the screen, $1,499, $1,499. Then the researchers asked people to say these prices out loud. And here's what happened. When people read the price without the comma, 93% of them said $14.99. When they read the price with the comma, 84% of people said $1,499. Isn't that interesting how that works? What's happening is this. With the comma, people frame it as a thousand something price. Without the comma, they think of the price in hundreds and they say it differently. This is important because with a comma, it takes more syllables to say the price. And as researchers found, this makes the price seem higher. Plus, the price with the comma looks bigger on paper or on the screen, simply because it takes up more visual spaces too. Now, I know a bunch of stupid internet marketers will start putting some commas and some cents into their numbers when they talk about how much money they're making. But ignore those people. I hate those people too. The way we see a price changes the way we think about a price, which changes the way we say a price, which changes how we assess a price. The good news is that the lesson here is straightforward. Don't put a comma in your price, and people will perceive the price to be lower. However, be careful. There's one caveat. Things might change if you're selling an offer in the six figures, like real estate. Maybe even in the high four and five figures. In these cases, leaving out the comma is likely to be counterproductive. Why? Because now the price gets difficult to read. There are just too many digits. Speaking of too many digits, don't you hate when people give their phone number like this? With no dashes, no commas, no spaces. Every time someone does that to me on my phone, I'm... Ready? All right. That's the side. If you're selling a product in the $1,000 to $3,000 range, leaving out the comma 
can be a smart tweak. Finally, one more thing about formatting your prices. The same study that tested commas also tested prices with and without decimals. So for example, 1499.00 versus 1499. But the results here are a little harder to interpret, especially because there's a lot of evidence that prices ending in 99 cent prices could convert better. However, here's what I can tell you. You definitely shouldn't add decimals with no value, like two zeros. That just takes up more space. It makes the price look bigger than it needs to. Cool? Cool. So remember, kill the commas, kill the decimals if you don't need them. Now, I know you may be tempted to start split testing this stuff, but here's the deal. Even though I'm talking about this, I highly discourage it. I even warn you about why I hate split testing in this video. Right here, here, here. I don't know where it is, we gotta figure this out. In the end, a comma is not going to make or break your business. And that's why I really filmed this video. I wanted to get your attention with something as simple as what converts better. And I wanted to let you know that if you're worried about this, you probably have bigger problems to solve. You don't need to worry about a comma or no comma or zeros or no zeros. Just put the price, find the right people, sell them a good product. That's how you build a remarkable business. If you like this video, here's what I want you to do. Leave a comment and tell me about a time when you chased down something as silly as a comma or no comma in your pricing and realized it was a big waste of time. I want to hear every story. Leave it in the comments below. Like this video if you agree. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell and I'll see you tomorrow.